Hello and welcome to episode 9 of my Fallout Let's Play. And if you're like, oh, what a Let's Play, that you're correct. That's because episode 8 was 14 months ago um, and I haven't returned to the game since I stopped playing it then. Um, so I just want to record this as a very short uh, bookend to, to that experience. Um, I did set out originally to play the game until I got one of the endings. I wouldn't reload when I died. Um, well, I wouldn't reload to explore other decisions. I would reload if I just died in combat. Um, but you know what? I got so far and I got a specific special type of death where I got dumped in some goo by the super mutant and the vault was overrun. That, so that's canon for me now. That was my fallout uh, experience. I got out the vault, made some friends, shot a lot of scorpions, and then failed and everyone died. Now, I was actually, I've looked up, looked it up, I was close to finishing... Uh, the main objective in that in the sewers uh, I was in there are some ghouls there's some materials and I believe through some combination of that I would be able to fix the water chip so eh, close enough for me um, now in terms of the actual Fallout 1 experience I wrote about it there's a Fallout 1 versus Fallout 4 versus Fallout Shelter review on split screen which you can check out but really I was going back here for a bit of gaming literacy a bit of archaeology dust off the series and see where it originated and I did that and it was all right that's my overall impression it was all right I haven't played Fallout 76 because that's a flaming car wreck and I am now at the point where I think I am probably not interested in playing any Fallout games that come out um, from the main Bethesda lot just because I don't think there's really anything interesting there. Fallout 3 remains the peak, uh, New Vegas just after it. Everything else then has really been uh, below what I, what I wanted. So that's me done. I don't want to make this uh, a very long video. Go check out other stuff uh, and live your lives.